refugees fleeing Ukraine, some into Russia, but the vast majority are moving west. So scenes such as these, women and children greeted by Good Samaritans, offering up their homes and food. These images are a contrast to the idea of the rise of nationalism in parts of Europe and to how other refugees, such as those from Syria, were treated. Joining us now with her perspective, Leah Zamor. She is from NYU Center on International Cooperation. Leah, thank you so much for your time. You just published an article highlighting what you are calling the double standard of refugees. What are you seeing in this crisis that made you connect those dots? Great, thank you. Thank you so much for having me here. Um, so what we're seeing, as you just said, is an unprecedented mass exodus out of Ukraine. And it is really unparalleled, at least in its swiftness. So 1.5 million people, including half a million children, have left. And Europe's response so far has been remarkably uh, generous and united. So we're seeing, for instance, in neighboring countries like Poland and Romania and Slovakia, that they are admitting every single Ukrainian that reaches their territory. The EU itself, for instance, is now supporting those frontline states with a new directive that says that Ukrainians that reach the EU will be allowed to stay up for up to three years. They'll have access to services, to work, and their children will be able to go to school. And this is exactly as it should be. It's exactly the vision that international refugee, refugee law suggests uh, should be the approach. But at the same time, it is also reinforcing a kind of jarring double standard. And so if we think, for instance, back to the last time that Europe had a major refugee crisis, which was in 2015, when more than one million Syrians, mostly Syrians, um, reached Europe, the response was quite the opposite. It was much more of a closed door response. Now, there were, of course, very important exceptions like Germany and Sweden that had much more of an open door policy. But the bulk of Europe really responded in a way that we're not seeing uh, with the Ukrainian crisis. And at the same time, that same dynamic is still happening today. So pe a lot of the people that are fleeing Ukraine are, are migrants um, from places like Africa and Yemen. Um, and they're being treated very differently. They're having trouble getting out. They're being forced off of off of trains. The EU has said that um, the policy is that anybody fleeing Ukraine will be admitted. Um, but we're seeing a very different dynamic play out, um, as we are with other refugee groups within Europe. Uh, Leah, I like what you said, that uh, this is the way that it should be, the good treatment, but for everyone. I want to underline a point about other things that all refugees face, which is in many times they have to learn a completely new language. Uh, from what you've seen so far in this conflict, do you have hope that people will be able to rebuild their lives? I do. You know, I, in some sense, again, this, this sort of jarring double standard is, is it of, of immediate concern. But overall, there's also been quite a lot of pressure um, now coming out, and, and we are seeing a kind of shift in approach. And I think regardless of where the refugees are from, you know, they are going to need reintegration services. They are going to need immediate support. But we, what we know from refugee crises all over the world um, is that refugees are remarkably adaptable um, and that if they're given the tools and the support to actually rebuild their lives, they will do so. They will become incredibly um, constructive members of their new communities. They have a lot to offer. Um, and I think that we, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that that's exactly what we're going to see. Leah, thank you for publishing what you're publishing. It is important work. Leah Zamor with us there. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.